Howdy, practical patriots and practical preppers. Yachatay Gruss, Alice Texas. Hey, everyone. Happy New Year. I want to show you something I've been testing out here, folks, because uh, it's really important. I want you all to think about this. If something really bad happens and you find yourself having to hoof it, you really do need a good set of footwear, okay? Now, all of us have all kinds of different kinds of shoes. I'm going to show you mine, but this is a pair that I found that I just felt like I had to tell you all about, okay? That's budget-friendly. All right, for starters, folks, you know, what kind of shoes do y'all have around the house? Well, let me show you what. For emergencies, when things go bump in the night, the dog's barking, or something out there messing around with something they shouldn't have, I have what I call a pair of deck shoes. Uh, the gentleman in, uh, in, in Texas that was doing the shooting, okay, the, the hero, the hero guy, okay, was out in his stocky feet, and this is just something I, I keep, a pair of deck shoes by my bed, you know, or wherever I'm sleeping, if I fall asleep on the chair, lazy boy, whatever the case may be, I always keep a pair of these in case I've got to get some shoes on and go out quick, okay? Pig got loose, that kind of stuff, okay? Then, you know, I don't really have a lot of pairs of shoes, but what I have makes sense. Shoes I wear for being a nurse, okay? Because I'm constantly running, so you have those. When it gets really wet and damp and I got standing water and I got something I got to go do, okay? And I got my rubber goulashes, okay? Or my wellies, as I call them, okay? Now... For your get out of town quick, okay, boots, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I got here. I've been testing these for a couple of months and I'm really amazed because of the price of them. $50, okay, for Mill Force, okay. Now these are really interesting. Uh these are kind of like, you know, I tell people, uh, you know, I really wanted another pair of Danners because I'm gonna really miss them. Um no, no. I still, for sentimental sake, whatever the case may be. Still got my Danners, y'all, but they've seen their last two raw, I think. <laughs> All right, last two raw, helping out people in Hurricane Harvey, but I think it's time to start, you know, playing taps for them. I think they're about done. So, what I got was these Millforce boots, okay? Just like they look a lot like the Danners, do they not? You know, I really like how these things are holed up. I've been using them for a couple of months, and I wear these every day. Uh, I wear these for working out here on my farm, you know, if I go to the range, if I go hang out with my friends, you know, and we're working on stuff, cars, trucks, whatever the case may be. I even use these to go to the grocery store for crying out loud because I live out in the country. And if I see a lady broke down on the side of the road, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get out and help her. I'm going to help her change her flat because I am a gentleman. All right. So I wear these every day and I've been knocking the tar out of them. They have a nice zipper on the side, which you know, I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. You know, they, it works. Okay, the thing I did not like about them was the plastic eyelets. But let me tell you something. I'm amazed at how well these have held out because I've broken plenty of plastic eyelets because of the different weather and temperature variations that we have here in Central Texas, okay? This come weekend, it's going to be 60 degrees. Right now, it's snowing out here, okay? <laughs> you see the snow in the live oak tree behind me? So these things hold up well, and I'm really amazed for a boot that's considered for an arid temperature or an arid climate how well my feet stay dry and warm in these things. So trust me, folks, I've been beating these things to tar and back. They're really awesome. You know, maintenance, <laughs> hey, all right. These things are awesome, folks, 50 bucks, okay? Now, again, I've been testing these out for two months for doing everything that I do out here. I've got my little farm. I mean, I do all kinds of stuff over here. I was really expecting these things after two months for the sole to come apart or something like that, but guess what, they haven't, okay? Now. Now, my criteria, if these things last about four to six months, I think they're great, and I think they'll last you for whatever may come your way for a few months, okay? For at 50 bucks, it probably wouldn't hurt to kind of have maybe a couple of pair to spare, okay? Just FYI, folks, that's how I feel about these. This is an Amazon product. I'm going to try to remember to leave a link, okay, in the item description for y'all, okay? But I think they're pretty awesome. They're comfortable. Took me about a day or two to break them in, but, you know, are they made? Are they my Dianners, you know? Hmm. I'll tell you what, for this is 175 y'all, and I sure am going to miss them, and they were comfortable. But you know what? For 50 bucks, I, I didn't go wrong with these, okay? I really am glad I pulled the trigger and bought a pair of these. And am I going to buy some more? Oh, yeah, I sure will. Don't forget, folks, you really do need a, pair, a good pair of footwear, okay? And as I've said, I've been using these around my farm, and if they can hand up to the rigors of my farm, they can probably hand up to the rigors of everything that you do. Questions, comments, folks, leave them below. Get you a decent set of footwear because I'm just saying, get a decent good pair of footwear, okay? Just in case, just in case. I am Johnny the Practical Nurse. It's nice and chilly out here. Kind of love it. 
Until I see you all again, out of here.